I'm Aiden. I do vocal. David. I play guitar. Justin. I play bass. It's Josh. And I play drums in Open Flesh. Why do you guys like death metal? Why did you choose to play that? I don't know. I just, I think for me at least, uh, I kind of just stem from like that like 90s, 90s like rock, like uh, Pearl Jam and Metallica. And then from then, it just kind of just gets heavier and heavier as you as you get older. It's and a you just, pipeline. Yeah, it's just, yeah, right, like a pipeline. It's just more groovy. You, know, you like the grooves in the beginning and then it just slowly goes down. Harder and harder. I mean, I listened to, well, which I, I, when I was younger, I said I liked metal and I didn't know the different like subgenres and shit. So I didn't know like death core. I didn't know what that was. So like, I just knew I was really into like job for a cowboy. <laughs> Stuff like that. And then, you know, I, started listening to heavier stuff you know within the past couple years found out what like slam was and was like holy shit like this is what i like this is like the the heavy like slow shit that i really really like so since then i've just been like really in the slam and like gore grind and just like the heaviest deepest like nastiest shit that i can find i guess yeah. what do you think makes something heavy really i don't know because it doesn't have to be like technically Proficient, it doesn't I have think to the less, sound. I think the more simple, a lot of times, the heavier it can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah honestly. It's, it's it depends vibe. about the feel. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, all about the feel. it's all about the vibe. Energy. Yeah, that's why I always say, like, slam is so much heavier than, like, a lot of other sub-genres of metal because it doesn't try so hard to be clean and technical. It just doesn't give a shit. It just exactly. is heavy and, yeah. Yeah. you know, ignorant. Yeah. Me and Aiden have been... Uh, friends for a while since middle school and uh, we were in a different band with a friend up in Philly that we have uh, for a while years before so we've been playing a lot longer together than with David and Josh. I, I originally wrote um, like Esophagus Fleshlight. This next song is called Esophagus That was like one of the songs we kept from when uh, it was me, me, Tristan, and then um, our old guitar player. Um, and then we uh, we met up with Josh. Pretty much changed a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same song. Yeah, same yeah. Song. Pretty much just kept all your drums. Yeah. So how do you like write a song? <laughs> well, it kind of depends. For the most part, like we'll have riffs that we write yeah it usually starts like, with a riff uh, or like a collection of riffs yeah and then we piece it together once we have something pretty stable we'll send it to him and he'll listen to it and write drums to it and then we'll do it out of practice all together they're thinking about like the breakdown and like the structure of a song the way we like put the riffs together is sort of like there's usually like a tension and release thing happening so that's like why the breakdown hits harder so that's sort of when we're like having to shift stuff around because like sometimes two riffs together will sound like kind of goofy slam is more just like badass riff after badass riff yeah. after badass. if it works if it goes together right. like anything can go yeah yeah and honestly there's no like set structure so like literally like i i per personally like writing kind of like where they'll do like a slow chuggy part i like writing like a fast like gravity blast over that because i think that that is heavier with a slow it's like a contrast there's yeah. like these two guys during your set where i really thought they were going to beat the shit out of each other but yeah. then they didn't because they were throwing each other all the way across the room like that energy comes in where you wouldn't have that during a jam sesh like yeah. how do you yeah. think that affects the like experience i think it just depends on the scene it depends on where you are because like for today is like a lot of families it's like an all ages event not many people but it's all about like you know the closest of everybody like the scene itself like philly's death metal scene is like really good and that's a lot of people come out and it's like a you know a close quarters environment just kind of opens that exactly like playing a house show is i really liked that because it's it's more intimate everyone's right there and you have the freedom to just 
go crazy like that. That shit was cool watching people it's like beat the thing. shit out of each other. Oh when my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I would love to yeah, yeah, I would love to see some more of that. It's also cool like as a vocalist in like in a house show like that, you're you're like free to do whatever. Like you can go out like like I was doing, I went out and moshed. I started pushing people around. And that just that brings a lot more energy and if they know, bring the energy, vibe. we have more energy yeah. too. Do you think that your music is like violent or is that like do you think it's like angry or is it not really based around anger or like violence i guess it depends on who you ask I think but for it me it's it just isn't. like, like it, yeah like like it is and it isn't but like if you're like um like me i i'm not really an angry person but i feel like definitely like you know like when you're younger and like the whole like stereotype with like angry kids with like slipknot and like limp biscuit like that was like the epitome of like Angry kids. Yeah, I was like ang the angry, like angsty thing, and I feel like that's like a hardcore thing, and like like a beatdown. Mu yeah, like yeah. musically they may may be similar, but the scenes are like looking for different things. Uh, so yeah, I feel like if a hardcore kid sees Open Flesh Wound, they're gonna fucking mosh and crowd go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which which is where it can get a little like it gets dicey. It gets it gets dicey yeah, because like a hardcore kid shows up at a. Uh, death metal slam show where nobody's crowd killing but you know that's what they do that's what yeah. they do yeah yeah so I mean I don't know and yeah but I think I, that's more yeah in, like the hardcore beatdown scene but like, as a angry yeah I mean, yeah more of so. like the angry yeah cause that's literally like they're getting it they're there to get their anger out and like get that frustration yeah. out and yeah. you know and I think the border between like the line there's like a fine line between like slam and hardcore like sound wise and you know, energy-wise, because I mean, if you if you look at our our Philly house show, it was it was like this close to being like a hardcore show, like it really was. Like I mean, yeah, like with the, the energy, energy we had, and yeah, like yeah, for sure. Our sound, and I felt like I, as a vocalist, was kind of bringing that. Like you know, I felt like I felt like a hardcore vocalist. Like yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. The thing with like that me and Tristan always talk about with vocals and stuff, uh, at least for this genre, is that like you know you can like write whatever you want but a lot of time you're not gonna understand it. Like, I say some parts, but then other times I'm just making throat it's, noises. It's more or less going along yeah. with like the rhythm of everything. Yeah, it's, like, it's like another then, instrument. What kind of inspires the aesthetic choices of like, you know, Sophocles Fleshlight, <laughs> like, um, you had like a corpse on the CD. Well, generally that's... like death metal is, goes side to side with like, that horror aspect yeah, like, horror, yeah. like you can compare it to horror movies like horror movies you watch everything happen death metal you're kind of listening to it in a different way it's like another it's like you're watching a horror movie but you're listening to it so you guys like horror movies oh yeah yeah what's yeah. some of your favorites i like the the energy of like 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 70s and 80s horror like uh like evil dead like that campiness of like you know evil dead and uh Splatter. Even like Cabin yeah. in the Woods, I like even though that was like yeah, a newer one, yeah. but it had that like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's goofy, but it's like yeah, it's still really you good. know like Texas Chainsaw and stuff. Just yeah. that very like I like practical. Slasher. Yeah. Two thousand three yeah. Texas Chainsaw Terrifier Massacre was yeah. a, a really good one for me. I like that yeah. that version. And I think with like our themes and stuff, it's kind of like song idea wise, we kind of it, it, it didn't really like start out this way, but it kind of just made its way in. Um, it's just the idea of like using human body parts for like use. If that makes sense, like body baggy, esophagus, flashlight. Use them like functionally. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's like other objects yeah, or like Ed Keen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Even the, just yeah, like, like the flesh chair. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Skin yeah. lamp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, esophagus, flashlight. Do you ever think about when you die? Would you care if someone like used your corpse for something to like oh. turn into something? Well, I'm an organ donor, so yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm an organ donor too. Yeah, that's Honestly, paper. I don't like give a shit. I, I would only be upset for my family's sake. Like if I had no family and nobody to like be upset that my corpse is being fucked with or whatever, I wouldn't care. <laughs> that's or I would like, care, weird. but if they, yeah, if nobody was there to be upset about it, would you be a chair? Do whatever. Yeah, I'd be a chair. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. I'd or be like a, a lamp, maybe be better. Yeah, it'd be, be better cool. than like being buried and being useless yeah for yeah, real true. you know be cool you give yeah. it back to the earth thing. I mean like people yeah, like yeah. people get like yeah. cremated and get their ashes made into like a, a record you know or like the movie see, How High they, they smoked them yeah. <laughs> I thought it would I thought it would be cool yeah exactly or I thought it would be cool to be about? like your, a, your ashes put into like a sword <laughs> yeah put I don't know put on like a mantelpiece and like your it's very black metal of you if you were like in a horror movie what character what characters do you think you guys would be like Oh, I'd be, I'd for sure be like, 
I wouldn't die for I'd die like in the middle. Like I'd be kind of smart, but I'd for sure like fuck up and die in the middle if that's a, a, a good answer. I think I'll just try to hide. That's a good point. Yeah. I, I wouldn't pay attention to detail. I think and then Josh would, would be the murderer. I kept. He looks like a fucking serial killer with those glasses. <laughs> when the, yeah, when you play yeah. drums. Oh, okay. He looks like he's I, about to kill angry? somebody. Yeah. Very focused. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, Josh. Do yeah, you, we, we'd be hiding from you. You'd be <laughs> the practice space. There you go. I don't, I don't know who I'd be. I mean, I'm I'd probably be like Tristan. I'd try to find a place to hide. hide. <laughs> but I would. I would. I would make enough noise to. To keep to draw the so killer. So you wouldn't yeah. try to confront the killer. I feel scared. like maybe I would be like uh, try to distract them. Yeah, not like, one on one. Yeah, yeah like Home Alone. Together. Yeah, like set traps, like Home Alone yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like really comedic traps. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Just run away. Like tar and feather me. <laughs> Something I noticed is that a lot of death metal bands are like anti-religion or like Christianity. Yeah. In particular, DSI. Shout out to DSI. DSI. Yeah. Shout out to Christianity. Um, <laughs> I think it goes. I think it's kind of split in a way. Like, there's bands that are really like that's their theme, and then there's other bands that are like pure gore. Like, I don't care about religious stuff. I just, I just want to write the most ridiculous, gory, stupid sounding names. Yeah. Because um, it's just wild, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah. I'm, but, I'm more on the silly side of it. Um, <laughs> Where like I'm not, like I guess I'm not I don't know I don't know what I I was raised Catholic and Christian or whatever I got into like zeitgeist and stuff when I was in high school so I got out of religion so I'm like oh yeah you know whatever but now I'm more like into other crazy shit and you know multi-dimensional stuff and simulation theory and there's all kinds of crazy shit so I I don't I religion's a very easy cop out I think there's something much more. Uh, confusing going on there. The whole, like, the biggest satanic example. elements and stuff, I, I, I find that stuff cool and, like, just kind of, like, appealing. It's not really, like, a, like, I think there's, like, with, like, slam and stuff, there's a fine line between being, like, cringe and then, like, you know, not taking yourself super seriously. And that, what I feel like with that is, like, if you, if you take yourself too serious, it's like, okay. It's just like, it's like just relax. Yeah. Do you think your families would be like, oh my god, you're the Antichrist? Or, like, or do you think they're cool with it? I think, I mean, my parents are cool with it. They came to the last show. They I think, it. like, when I was younger, maybe. And I don't know, just, but no, I mean, like, they like it. They they were here today and they were like, that's, that's super cool. That's Everything's cool. fun, yeah. Actually, I think I saw someone's dad at the last show. My dad was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, my set that was there. Yeah, yeah, my dad was at this one. My mom was at the last show. By our new tape, I joined afterwards, after they had already put the EP out. So we decided to, like, go back and redo it with me playing. He was still making tapes before. Yeah, they're still he not came even over my done. house this morning and come here. <laughs> they turned here. out awesome. They're ready. Bye.